everyone. I've got another sketchbook here to customise the, the front cover of and it's one of the Arteza ones. Sorry about the dodgy angle. It's a 200 page drawing book premium and it's £80, 130 GSM and the paper is actually not as white as this, it's actually kind of a creamy off white as you can see. And what I thought I would do is use a stencil which is a Macintosh design. Uh, from Elizabeth Kulsha. Kulsha? Sorry Elizabeth, I, I don't know how to say your surname. <laughs> so what I was going to do is use a, a bit of this and some white paint, which is clear gesso, uh, so that I can use a metallic rose gold decor paint with this stencil. So I'm not going to have it like straight on like that but just slightly off off centre or well in the centre but curved to the side a bit. Uh, and I'm just going to stick this down with some tape so it doesn't move. And I'm just going to get the mixture of the white paint and the clear gesso, put a base coat down and then the colour coat down. So I'll come back to you after the base coat's down and dried. Okay, so that's the base coat down. So that's white paint, which is the De La Rowney System 3 uh, titanium white. And with I mixed in with a bit of clear gesso. Liquitex brand. Now it's time to put the colour on. So I'm just taking a bit of old sponge and just dabbing it on. So the white should hopefully make the, the rose gold a bit brighter looking. Uh, I've did this onto a handmade sketchbook before uh, and with the trial run on a bit of what well, was actually green fabric the colour which was the same colour as this uh, was actually quite dull looking so I tried it again with a white undercoat and it looked so much better so I'm trying it the same way although being uh, a sort of fake leather cover it might not be so dull, but not risk it. There was kind of a funny story to get this sketchbook and more of a sadder story as to why I started it, but that's for another time. Uh, when I was ordering these sketchbooks, it was in April, I think it was. And... I had wanted to try the Arteza watercolour sketchbooks, the square versions, but they were all sold out and being locked down due to the whole virus situation, uh, they weren't available for a while. So I thought I'll try just a regular A4 sketchbook since the other ones I've had have been softbacks and these are hardback. So I ordered ordered them in and they had sent these ones however I had ordered the 100 page sets now they come packs of two which is great so I basically get a 200 page sketchbook anyway but it's less pressure with finishing it if you well you probably know what I mean if you if you draw in your sketchbooks sketchbooks a lot but <clears throat> they sent me the 200 page sketchbook so I wrote to them and said um, you know this is not what I asked for uh, as much as it is good it's good getting like more pages it's not really what I ordered technically 
they says, oh, I'll get the, I'll get the proper one sent out to you, that's fine. I was like, what do you want me to do with these other ones? And they says, oh, I'll donate them or to a school or an artist, artist in need. Okay. Tried to give them away to a certain few people on here. And they were like, no, 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 that's all right. Oh, okay. So, cracked one of them on. So, I say, sorry. Uh, waited for the second batch to come and they sent me the exact same thing double pack of the 200 pages again wrote to them and said this isn't really ex acceptable it's put me off shopping with them in, in the first place the fact is that they sent the same thing twice because there was loads of other things I wanted to try like their paint, paint pens and their watercolours, their gouache loads of stuff they're quite popular, quite a big company these days. But it's like, it seems like their staff just wasn't paying attention. Now, I did say, is it sold out? And they were saying no. Uh, in the first one, I was like, ah, well, you might need to speak with your staff because they're clearly not paying attention. Oh, we'll look into it, we'll look into it. Send out the wrong thing again. And I say, so look, just to save you out of money, don't bother sending a replacement or a refund or anything like that and the person that read the email says oh would you like to send out a would you like us to send out a replacement well I just I just ignored it for that so I'm just going to use them it's not really what I wanted to to have such big sketchbooks but they're not really glue based and you can't really complain I suppose really but it's just the customer service, you're like, you know, come on, pay attention to what people are saying in their emails and what they're ordering in the first place. If it's not sold out, then, you know, provide the proper th I know mistakes can happen, but come on, twice. Right, that's sort of two rounds that I've done on this. I can see wee white bits in there, but oh well. the big reveal oh, that's not too bad a wee bit blurry there but yeah not bad at all so yeah that was the stencil Don't even mind the wee bloody bit there, even the wee white bits that are peeking through. It's almost like a highlight. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, and um, these are um, sort of pages to stop bleed through, as well as like the there's some pencil sketch that has been started. Uh, like I said earlier, um, but yeah, well we shall crack into the pages another day. So I hope you enjoyed this short little video of <laughs> stencil customising this sketchbook. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and until the next one, bye!